I did it. <laughs> I finally finished my Camino Portuguese video. I also made a video about the 48 hours I spent in Paris on my way to the Portuguese. And I'm so excited and so nervous to share these videos with you guys. I feel like more nervous than ever before for some reason. And to everyone who has been asking and waiting for the Portuguese video, I'm so sorry that it took so long. I was just in a really weird place for a while there. Things have been very intense in New York City and in my personal life and in the world and I just felt like I was in survival mode for a while but things have settled and I'm in a really good place right now and I'm feeling excited and motivated to just make stuff and share stuff with you guys. So I have just like a bunch of videos that I'm ready to come out with. I feel like I needed to work on things and build them up first so that I had enough to share. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so I decided to split this Camino video into three parts. For my last Camino, wasn't even sure going into it that I was gonna make anything out of that footage. So I didn't take very much footage. For this one, I went into it knowing that I wanted to make something to share with you guys, so there's a lot more detail in it. Also, my last community video was over two hours, and that's just too long. <laughs> Most people don't have that much time to sit down and watch a video, like it's longer than a regular movie. I got a lot of comments saying like, I can't believe I actually sat through a two hour video, which is a huge compliment, but also like, I, I get it. It's a long video. <laughs> I think it'll be easier for you guys to watch the video split into parts. I hear that it's better for the algorithm on YouTube and it was just easier for me to approach the edit that way. So, the Paris video and part one of the Camino Portuguese are available to watch now on my Patreon. <laughs> I created a Patreon a long time ago and never did anything with it or talked about it much because I just didn't feel ready. I knew that if I was going to ask people for support, I wanted to be able to provide value in return. And I wasn't really sure how to go about that, but now I think I have a pretty good idea. And so my plan with Patreon is to not only publish all of the videos that I'm going to post on YouTube on Patreon a week before they go on YouTube, they'll also be ad-free there in that time. And and I'll also put a bunch of things exclusively on Patreon that will only be on Patreon. Dread is here now. So when I first put up my Camino documentary, I got a handful of people who gave me a super thanks. And I didn't know what this was at first, but it's a way for people to say thank you to a creator in the form of a donation directly through YouTube. So it's a way for a person to tell another person, I got value from what you made, so here's some value in return. But YouTube takes a pretty big cut of that donation, which I think most people aren't aware of. And it made me uncomfortable to think about someone intending to give a $10 donation without knowing that YouTube was taking over 30% of that. So I turned off the super thanks option and instead linked a PayPal donation link. I've gotten a handful of donations through PayPal with the cutest messages attached to them. And Every single time it's just like blown my mind. But the problem with that method is that there's no way to respond. I really, really, really wanted to like start a conversation and get to know these people and just like really thank them for their support because it's so encouraging to me. And that just wasn't possible through PayPal. So I like the idea of Patreon because while they do take a cut, it's not nearly as big as what YouTube takes. I think it might be like 8%, but in return, they're providing a very cool platform where all of these different ways of interacting are possible. I particularly like the idea of Patreon as like a safe place where I could share more things, more like openly and freely. What's so intimidating about YouTube is that literally anyone around the world could find my videos. That's what makes it so cool, but also kind of scary. I've already gotten a handful of very nasty comments on my Camino documentary. I just find it very bizarre. <laughs> it's also just part of the territory of sharing 
yourself on such a massive platform. I feel like with Patreon being this much smaller platform with a community of people that I know support me and my work, I'll feel a lot less anxious about sharing more things that are maybe a little more like personal and vulnerable or like rough behind the scenes sort of things that aren't as polished because I know that there will be like less um, crazy people. <laughs> It might not seem like it because I'm putting myself on the internet, but I have so much social anxiety. But I think that my like passion for creativity and storytelling just slightly outweighs my social anxiety. And so I feel like this could be a really cool, really interesting way to circumvent that. Is that the right word? Circumnav- you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I hardly ever post on Instagram. I don't have a TikTok or Twitter or uh, whatever else there is. My main social media is YouTube. I feel like Patreon can become a really cool extension of that and could probably even become my main social media where I put everything like photos, videos, interviews at full length by Greta, updates, vlogs, Q&A's, I could even do a live, I'll answer every single one of your questions. <laughs> so on my Patreon right now, you'll see a bunch of photos from my Camino Frances and my Camino Portuguese that I've never shared anywhere else. I also uploaded an eight hour extended cut of my Camino Frances documentary. I don't even know if that's something that anyone would be interested in, but if for some reason two hours wasn't long enough and you wanna see six additional hours of Camino, <laughs> It's there. I actually think it's kind of cool because it doesn't have all of the like quick edits and music overlaying. There are just a lot of really peaceful long shots of the Camino and I think the extended interviews are in there and then also just like extra goofy commentary from me while I'm walking. <laughs> My observations of things. There are also a couple of vlogs there that I don't think I ever posted on YouTube, especially there's a birthday vlog that I definitely never posted on YouTube because I was just like scared to. The video of my 48 hours in Paris is already up there that will be coming out on YouTube next Friday, um, but it's on Patreon now, as well as the first part of my Camino Portuguese. And then part two and three of the Portuguese will be coming out on Patreon a week before they come out on YouTube, and you can watch them ad-free, which is nice. Thank you in advance to anyone who goes and signs up for the Patreon, and if you do sign up for my Patreon and watch the videos and decide that you hate them and that you just wasted your money, send me a message and I will give you a refund. I will give you your $3 back. I just really want you to feel like you're getting something that you like in return for supporting me. <laughs> and if you can't afford the Patreon, I totally get it. I totally understand all of these videos like all three parts of the Camino Portuguese will be coming out on YouTube and from now on I'll be posting every Friday so starting next Friday I'll post the Paris video and then part one of the Portuguese part two part three so you can now expect videos from me every Friday I'm excited to have a set schedule now and a bunch of things to post so you can expect to see something from me every Friday Greta's back I was so nervous to talk about that. I'm so relieved it's over. Okay, so another update is last month I got to go to Alaska. My cousin just randomly surprised me with tickets to Alaska with just like two or three weeks notice. My cousin Steven is, I think he's the one person that I've genuinely been closest to my entire life. He's just such a precious, special person. I cherish him so much. And the crazy thing is, I don't think we've ever traveled together. I've gone to visit him in places that he's lived. He's come to visit me, but we've never traveled somewhere new together. So this was a really special experience, especially because he has been traveling for the past year in a van RV type thing. So for over a year, he's been traveling around North America with his boyfriend and they've been having just like the most beautiful 
beautiful experience and so I feel so honored that I was able to join and to see the life that he's been living for the past year because this really has been his dream for a very long time. To watch him fulfill his dream was just the coolest thing ever. I shot a lot of video on the trip. He and I sat down and we did an interview. We did a tour of his van. So I think I'm gonna make two separate videos out of that trip and I'm so excited to share that with you because it's just incredible. Alaska is the type of place that I never even imagined that I would go for some reason. Even though it's a part of the United States, it just feels so far away. Like it just seems so remote. And it was just nice to get out of New York. It's really the only place I've traveled all year. Like I haven't even been back to Florida to visit my family. I've just been in New York this whole time, just like suffering. <laughs> And to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do like a whole lot more traveling this year just because work has been really weird. I was really, really, really hoping that I would be able to do a Camino this year. Some of my Camino fam is actually on the Camino again right now, and then some of them will be on it in September. And I'm feeling so much FOMO, but I just can't. I can't do that again this year. I've been pet sitting as a side hustle which I've been enjoying so much because first of all it's mostly been cats like dropping in and hanging out with people's cats while they're on vacation which I love doing but also it gives me an opportunity to go in and see people's apartments and there is nothing more fascinating to me than seeing different New York City apartments because they're all so different everyone's personal style is so different a lot of these like crazy luxury buildings are things that I never thought I'd be able to see the inside of so getting to see some really fancy apartments has been crazy <laughs> if I do travel anymore this year I really have to prioritize going to see family my last living grandparent is my dad's mom she is a very old very beautiful Mexican woman living in Vegas in my dad's house and the house that I grew up in and I just haven't been back in a really long time and I just I feel so guilty about that I think about her every single day and I feel this like deep pang in my chest because they're just like I know I know I need to go see her and spend time with her I would really love to capture her essence while I can as well my mom's 60th birthday is in November and I really 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 like I just have to go see her for that so yeah I think I'll be in New York for the foreseeable future. <laughs> and so after my Camino videos, I will have a couple of Alaska videos and then I would really love to put out New York content because I'm gonna be here for a while. There's always something interesting going on here and there are so many videos that I want to make in New York. It's almost like overwhelming. Like I don't even know where to begin because there's so much going on here. That there's always something. <laughs> I think we're getting hit by Tropical Storm Debbie tomorrow, which is interesting. My mom's name is Debbie. Debbie is coming. <laughs> we also got hit by an earthquake earlier in the spring, which was my second time ever experiencing an earthquake. And my first time ever experiencing an earthquake was exactly a year earlier in Guatemala. And I think it was like almost the exact same magnitude. And each time I was woken up from bed. This earthquake that happened in New York had pulled an all-nighter. I think I was like up late editing. So it was 10.30 or so in the morning and it woke me up out of bed. That's how intense it felt in my building. I live in an extremely old building. The building shakes every time the train goes by and every time a truck like hits a bump on the street that's just down there. <laughs> my building trembles multiple times a day already but that trembling was so intense and so different that yeah it woke me up out of sleep both of the cats were like what the fuck is going on i just never in a million years expected to experience something like that here i grew up in florida so i'm used to hurricanes i know what to expect i know how to prepare but with something like an earthquake or tornado there's literally no way to prepare and sometimes there's no way to be safe this building that I'm in is so old that if a stronger earthquake were to come, I would just have to accept my fate. That's too dark to, to say online. <laughs> 
So yeah, this tropical storm is coming. My fireplace hole is still leaking. You can actually see I have my pot here. It's already a quarter filled with water because it's been raining so much already. They've tried to fix it multiple times and they have not fixed it. So this has been leaking for almost a year now. Another day in the life in an old rent stabilized building in New York City, I guess. Okay, I don't know what else to say. I'm just rambling now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching any of my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you if you sign up for my Patreon. I love you. I hope that you enjoy the things that are there. Yeah, expect to hear from me every Friday on YouTube now. So next Friday will be the Paris video with some one very special. The Friday after that will be part one of the, the Portuguese and then part two, part three, and then Alaska and then a bunch of like really cool stuff that I'm really 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 excited about and I just like can't wait to get to. Yeah, I'll see you guys very soon.